And topping our news this midday, new details into a case we've been following for you all week. The murder trial of William Mallory is now in the hands of the jury. News sends Jacqueline Beavis is live outside in the Vigo County Courthouse now. Jacqueline, what were closing arguments like this morning? Brittany, a very emotional morning in the courtroom. Families of the victims, of course, the, they are hearing closing arguments. Again, this is the case of William Mallory. He was involved in reportedly a triple shooting outside the Ballyhoo Tavern back in August of 2012. Now, the jury is left to decide if he is, in fact, guilty of murder. William Mallory faces one count of murder, two charges of attempted murder, and two charges of aggravated battery on the two living victims, and one count of carrying a handgun without a license. That, in fact, a misdemeanor. Now, the jury must unanimously decide on each of these six different counts. What we heard in closing arguments today, the prosecution walked through the events of August 23rd and into the early morning hours of August 24th when the crime actually occurred. They also focused on Mallory's intentional aiming at each of the three victims. It's also reported that three of the five rounds were shot at center point, indicating that Mallory uh, was, in fact, aware and, uh, and aiming at those targets. The defense, on the other hand, argued that uh, Mallory's story, uh, or argued, in fact, that the stories of the witnesses weren't actually adding up, and they also explained the Indiana law on self-defense. Now, the jury started deliberation about 10 o'clock this morning, about two hours ago. I walked around the courthouse afterwards. It looks like all of the extra security and all the officers are staying where they're at. They're kind of manning their post, almost indicating we could be expecting a verdict here sometime this afternoon. We'll, of course, have the very latest all afternoon on air and online, and we'll bring you the latest tonight as well. Reporting live at the Vigo County Courthouse, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. Thank you, Jacqueline. And we will, of course, have the verdict if it is available on News 10 First at 5.